Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a Adobe form or PDF form as an email attachment and in the previous videos we finished with now complete first five steps. We created the send request. Yes, we add created the SAP user. We added as a recipient. We created the external user. We added the external user as a recipient and we covered that part also. How to go for multiple recipients how to add the recipients in CC or DCC. Now we will go for next step. We will create the document now, document. Document word itself is same. Subject of the mail, it is a document. Body of the mail, it is a document. After that, we will do the attachment also. We will add the attachment in the mail. So that is also a document. So firstly, we will go for creation of the doc document. And you all know very well, whenever we want to go for document, we will make use of the class CL underscore document underscore BCS. So I will go for this particular class to create the document. So now I will go to SC24 transaction code and we will see which particular method we can use to create the document. So this is the class. I will go for display mode. Now we will see which particular method we will use to create our document. I will just scroll down. You can see we have a method create underscore document and description is itself creates an office document. And yes, it is a static method. So there is no need for the object. I can directly, directly call the method through the class itself. So I will go to our program. This is our program. Now I will go to pattern button. I will go to a back object patterns. Now there is no need for the object as it is a static method. What is the name of the class? CL underscore document underscore BCS. I will go to F for help of the methods. And we have a method create underscore document. I will use this method. I will put enter. Now, never, never forget to uncomment the try and catch block. Now, firstly, we will start with the subject of the mail. We all know we are always, always giving a subject to the mail. So have you seen we have a parameter I underscore subject. So we will give a subject to the mail. Suppose I will give the subject to the mail through text symbol only. We all know. We should never, never hard code in one language. We should always, always use text symbols. Suppose I am writing text hyphen 000. I will simply double click and create this particular text symbol. Suppose my subject of the mail is sales order details because we are sending a mail for sales order so i will give that i gave the title to the mail as sales order details i will activate the program depends upon the requirement you can give a meaningful subject to the mail now we will come on to the body of the mail see we gave the subject we gave the subject. Now we need to come on to the body of the mail. 
Now, if I want to give the body of the male, I will simply, simply go for this parameter, I underscore text. I will simply uncomment this particular parameter. Now, in front of this, I will declare one more, I will declare my own parameter. Suppose I am writing LT underscore text. Now, the type of LT underscore text is same as that of I underscore text. So, I will simply double click and check the type. I underscore text is of this type. So, I will simply, simply go for this particular thing. Now, I will simply double click. I will simply declare this particular internal table. LT underscore text. I just paste. And you can see if I will double click, it is a table type. It means it is a internal table, internal table. Now I will declare the corresponding work area also. LWA underscore text type. Now never declare work area as table type. Work area is always, always structure type. So this is our structure type, which has one column line. Now I will declare the work area. Now we need to pass this particular body, this particular male content. I, what, what the male content we want to pass? Dear sir, below is the attached PDF. Thanks and regards and my name. This particular content we will pass to this particular internal table. We all know whenever you want to insert the data to the internal table, how you will insert through append statement. So we will simply, simply fill this internal table through append statement. And what is the syntax of the append? Append work area to internal table. So one by one, we will pass the rows to the work area. From the work area, we will append it to internal table. So what is the name of our work area? LWA underscore text hyphen. Now I will check the work area. What is the name of the column? Name of the column is line. So I will write hyphen line. And now again, I will not hard code in one language. I will use text symbol. Suppose I will write text hyphen zero zero one. I will create this particular text symbol. I will write dear sir slash madam. You all know this is the first line which we want to put in the body of the mail. I will activate. Now I will go for next. So I put the first line into the work area. Now we need to insert it to internal table. How we will insert to internal table using the append statement. So I will write append work area to internal table. Now we should always, always clear the work area after every append statement. So I cleared the work area. Now, what is the second line in the body of the mail? Below is the attached PDF. So 
So I will copy this and now I will go for one more append because we have different, different lines, dear sir and madam in one line. Then after that, we have below is the attached PDF in one line. Then we have thanks and regards, then the name. Different, different lines itself. It will, means we need to go for append four times. So now I will go to the mail. I will create a new text symbol now. I will create this text symbol. And I will write below is the attached PDF. I will activate this. I'll just increase the length so that it can take fully. Below is the attached PDF. Okay. Now I will come on to, I'll just copy this. And I will paste. Now I will go for text hyphen 003. Now I will double click on to this text symbol. Now 003, I will write thanks and regards. I'll just increase the length. I will activate this. Now I will go for my name at the last. So we appended four rows to the internal table. Now I will create this text symbol and 004. Suppose I will write my name. I will activate this part. I'll increase the length. So we added the subject to the mail. We added the body to the mail. Now I will come on to the result part, result part. Suppose I will declare one object here. Suppose I'm writing LO underscore document. Suppose I will write LO underscore BCS underscore document. Suppose now what will be the type of LO underscore BCS underscore document? It will be same as that of result. How I can check the type of result? Result is referring to this particular class. It means we are getting a object object. So I will copy this and I will declare in my program. I will write data LO underscore document underscore BCS. Type ref to our class. So in the return, we are getting a object of the document class itself. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the document process of the mail. Document means subject of the mail, body of the mail, attachment in the mail. Yes. So firstly, Whenever we want to go for document, we need to make use of the class CL underscore document underscore BCS. We use the method create underscore document. It was a static method. So there is no need for the object. We directly call the method through the class. We gave the subject to the mail through text symbol. Then we gave the body to the mail. 
body of the meal is a internal table. So we appended the rows to the internal table. In the return, we got the object of this document BCS class itself. In the next video, I will come on to this, but we need to pass in front of type and then we will move on to the further steps of this particular process. So that's it in this video. Thank you.